before we talk on Lal Rama, let me come back to this case first. Okay. We all need to understand that this is an, this is, this is an LPC, long pending case. Hmm. Nearly 32 people have arrested, not just this guy. Hmm. With all these cases, when the, the accused don't appear in the court, the court gives an undertaking asking the SP of that area to apprehend these guys, and 32 people were apprehended. This guy is one among them, and BJP, God bless BJP, they are terming a known offender, a proclaimed criminal, a bootlegger, as a Ram Bhakt. God, God bless them. If Ram has this sort of butts, long live Ram. Now let me come back to the topic that you have raised. Today, BJP has not built this temple. This temple is not built by RSS. Ram belongs to everyone. Ram belongs to whole of India. It was BJP who brought Lord Ram to the uh, to the streets. Okay, it is Supreme Court's judgment that the Ram Temple has been built. A, an invite has been given to the Congress Party, and the Congress Party, in all probability, will go there as representatives of uh, a party which has ruled uh, a large number of years uh, uh, the land where Ram belongs. What is wrong in it? Yes, we will go. Look at and your words. Satya Prakash ji, you should actually play this show back because when you say Congress party ruled the place where Lord Rama resides, I mean, if you mean Uttar Pradesh, 